Welcome back to Talk of the Town. You know, it's not even Halloween yet, but if you're a crafter, you know it's not too early to start making things for Christmas. Artist Katie Gonzalez is here now with a way to create some special family memories that will also be beautiful ornaments on your tree. Katie, it's great to have you with us. Great to have you here. Thank you. Well, let's take a look at this beautiful tree. You've made these miniature books, three yes. different kinds that mm -hmm. I think are just beautiful. Thank you. Tell me about them. Um, so we've got a couple different types here. So some of them are traditional hardcover books um, that you can fill with uh, memories on the pages. Some of them unfold into star shapes. Um, other ones are um, little books that are sort of like little accordions, but you can unfold them and um, Oh, that's so pretty. Hang them on your tree like this, and then it just collapses down into a little book shape. So um, all sorts of different structures. It kind of expands the definition of what a traditional book can be. But um, when you make them really tiny, you can um, decorate your tree with them. And it's just kind of a fun fun way to uh, add a little holiday cheer. I love that. Support. And you can write your family memories yes. in there and keep them from year to year. Yes. Definitely. All right, you're going to show us how to make this one, which I think yes. is, is so neat because it makes kind of a star. Mm -hmm. And you can just hang it like that on your tree. Mm -hmm. So how do you exactly. get started making this? Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is, I have all the um, materials that you need here. So you need five sheets of paper for your pages, mm -hmm. and then you have some decorative paper that will be used for the covers of your book, and then you have some um, hard board that will become the, um, the, the sturdy part of your covers, and then a ribbon and a bead. Um, so if you want to grab one of these sure. little white squares of paper, okay. we're going to start by folding these um, to create the pages. Okay. So first we're going to just fold them in half. Easy enough, right? Mm -hmm. And then you'll unfold it and then fold it the other direction. So you're basically just sort of splitting your paper into four quadrants. Okay. And then if you unfold it, flip it upside down and then do one diagonal fold. Ah, i got to put this down to do this. You're teaching a class on this at Watkins yes, School of Art, Design, and Film. Mm -hmm. um, you're one of the instructors there. Yes. Yeah, this has got to be fun. Yeah. Your specialty is book binding, so mm -hmm. you can do very uh, intricate books, but this is a great way for a beginner to learn yeah, about absolutely. the process. Um, so once you've done that fold, what you're going to do is just sort of push, uh, flip it upside down, okay. and then push it once in the center, and it sort of pops like yeah. this. And then all you're going to do is bring these points together, and it kind of collapses. Mm -hmm. And then kind of pinch it, and oh, yeah. it makes this fun little pop-up shape like this. Yeah. So you would do that for all of the pages in your book. Okay. And then once you have um, folded all of them, you would glue them together. So you would glue them so they sure. open in the same direction. Okay. And once you've glued them all together, then you end up with something like this. Like, like a little accordion almost. Uh-huh. Makes your yeah. star. So it folds into a little book, but then when you unfold it, it makes this great little star shape. So we've got about a minute left. I want to okay. be sure everybody sees yeah. the process here. So you've taken your beautiful decorative paper here mm -hmm. and just glued it onto your glued book Glued it onto board. the board, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. exactly. And then you would trim the corners off and fold that decorative paper so you're wrapping it around, mm -hmm. um, around that board. And then Pretty once simple. you have everything attached, um, all you would need to do would be to kind of sandwich your pages inside your cover with a ribbon. Um, so it would turn out something like this. So you've got your ribbon sort yeah. of in between the cover and the pages. And then when you're done, you have this finished book. You slide a little bead on there, you can pull it up, and then your book will just unfold. That is just beautiful. And you've got this great little ornament. I love that. And that's one of the things you can learn in the workshop. There's yes. also the miniature book, uh -huh. um, and then uh, that other cute little star, too. Yes, so you'll do all three. Such great ideas. Mm -hmm. This would be such a fun thing to learn. If you'd like to be part of Katie's class on making handmade miniature book ornaments, it's happening Saturday, November 15th from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. over at Watkins College of Art, Design, and Film. If you'd like to register or find out more, go to their website, watkins.edu slash community education. Got to put a dash in there, too. There's a link on our website, also a link to Katie's uh, website as well. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. So fun.